everyone always thinks that we glow because we work with radioactive material. My name is Susan Morgan and I'm a board certified nuclear pharmacist. I currently work at UT Health Science Center and College of Pharmacy. I'm an assistant dean in the Office of Academic Affairs and director of our nuclear pharmacy programs. Nuclear pharmacy is um, a diagnostic tool that is used to help physicians understand what's going on with patients. Um, radioactive material is injected into a patient they're placed in a scanner and an image is created based on that radioactive material and where it localizes in the body. Some patients um, might have had a stress test for a thyroid ablation um, for hyperthyroidism. Um, gallbladder study might be something people are familiar with. A typical day for a nuclear pharmacist would be preparing and dispensing sterile um, radiopharmaceutical doses um, for patients. Uh, they are typically transported to clinics and hospitals around the area um, and the technologist at the hospital will then um, inject the patient and scan from there. Other tasks that a nuclear pharmacist might be doing throughout the day is labeling white blood cells, um, preparing um, thyroid treatments for patients with thyroid cancer, um, as well as preparing other diagnostic agents. So a student who is thinking about getting into nuclear pharmacy, um, going to college might think about taking some math, chemistry, physics courses to see if they like the subject matter, completing the prerequisites for pharmacy school, um, because you do have to be a licensed pharmacist to work as a nuclear pharmacist. Once they enter pharmacy school, um, looking at where programs are available for them to take the training that is required to become a nuclear pharmacist. It's 200 hours of didactic lectures, lab work, um, and then 500 hours of experiential um, in a job setting. There is a role for pharmacy technicians. The, the nuclear pharmacy would not run without them. They draw doses, do quality control, um, help get the right drug in the right box, um, get the drivers out to deliver the product to the, the hospitals and clinics and make sure the patients receive their, their scan. Skills that I think would be most beneficial, good time management. Um, because it's radioactive material, everything is decaying. So you need to be efficient at your job. All pharmacists are good at multitasking, um, but being able to keep the patient in mind. A lot of professions of pharmacy, you have the patient in front of you. Um, in nuclear pharmacy, typically it's a closed door facility. So keeping in mind that everything you do does impact the patient because if you don't get the right drug at the right time to the right hospital, the patient can't um, find out about their disease state or move on to the next step in their treatment. So focusing on the patient while they're not in front of you um, is a good skill to be able to have. Most nuclear pharmacies are located in standalone facilities. There are um, nuclear pharmacies that are located in hospitals. Uh, we have a few here in Tennessee and across the country. Um, some of the bigger um, research hospitals and cancer institutes might have their own nuclear pharmacy. Um, it just makes um, doing research and treating patients a little easier to have it all right there. When I started pharmacy school, I was very interested in nuclear pharmacy. I knew that UT Health Science Center offered um, the nuclear training. So when I entered pharmacy school, I met with a professor and talked to her about the opportunities with nuclear pharmacy. Was able to complete my 200 hours here at UT, um, did some rotations in pharmacy school in nuclear pharmacy, um, obviously as well as other areas of pharmacy and found that nuclear pharmacy was a good fit for me. And then I was able to get a job in a nuclear pharmacy here in Memphis um, and have been in Memphis ever since. I really enjoy teaching the students and imparting um, what nuclear pharmacy is about, uh, what skills you need, what the environment is like, 
um, seeing them really connect with it and enjoy it and helping them connect with the nuclear pharmacy network that's out there and helping them find jobs that, that really bring passion to their pharmacy career. Everyone always thinks that we glow because we work with radioactive material. We don't glow. Um, it is very interesting though because you can't see it or know it's there unless you have equipment that can tell you it's there. Um, it's safe. I think that's also when people think nuclear pharmacy, ooh, that's kind of scary and, and different, but it's really safe, it's unique, and it really does make a difference in patients' lives. I have many conversations with pharmacists that have been working out in the community or in hospital settings and are looking for a change. They uh, seek me out because we do have an online program here for postgraduate pharmacists. And I talk to them about what is gonna get them out of bed and excited about going to work every day. Nuclear pharmacy does have crazy hours. So shadowing a nuclear pharmacy, seeing how those hours might fit into your lifestyle. If you don't like working at two, three, four in the morning, if that's just not gonna work for you, um, nuclear pharmacy might not be the best um, place for you to go work. Um, but shadowing, talking to people that have been in nuclear pharmacy for a while and how their career paths have developed. Um, I started out as a nuclear pharmacist and then became a radiation safety officer and then became a manager. So there are steps that you can take in the career planning and now I'm teaching. So I explore those ideas with pharmacists, talk about working in a sterile prep area and a sterile compounding area, a buffer room where you're gowned and garb. That is a different environment um, that some people might not be comfortable in. So those are a few of the things that I discuss with potential um, nuclear pharmacists. We are more.